We have a hundred dollars. Let's see what it can get us here in Thailand. Welcome to the Sun Soak Phuket, a hub for those traveling on a budget. It is well known that Thailand is one of the cheapest countries in the world. Stretching your savings between food, transport and activities comes easy in Thailand, but how easy is it? Today, come along with us as we see what $100 can get us here in Thailand. So with 100 USD that currently gives us 3,450 Thai bar in our back pocket to spend. Before we set off on our adventure, first we need a ride. Prices for scooters varies depending on the location and also the length of your hire. We just need a nip around the island so this 155cc bad boy works perfectly for us. There's only 300 Thai baht per day. Remember to be careful on the roads. Scott has his motorbike license so we can ride legally here in Thailand. So we've just arrived at Big Buddha. It's a massive 45 meter statue that is visible from many parts of the island. Now remember ladies to wear appropriate clothing as it's an active working temple with monks. So Big Buddha took a whole decade to build and was finished in 2014. Its white marble is definitely something to be witness of. You can easily see why it's one of Phuket's most popular attractions. So entry to Big Buddha is free. Yes, that's right, completely free. However, they do rely heavily on donations from the public. So if you have a bit of extra cash, we highly recommend donating if you can. So we've had an amazing morning at Big Buddha, it was so peaceful and serene. And now we're at McCall Cafe in Ra Wai for a bite to eat and we'll show you how much everything costs for breakfast. So I've just ordered a bacon eggs benedict for 170 Thai bar. I've also ordered a mixed berry smoothie which is 130 Thai bar. So all up breakfast will cost 300 Thai bar. was delicious and now we are ready to head on to the next adventure. We just arrived at Blue Tree and that costs 650 baht per person and that includes the zip lines, the slides and also the Ninja Warrior. It's kind of like a mix between a beach club and also like a mini water park. It has like a bunch of fun activities and then also a couple of restaurants and some lovely lounges to lay in the sun. How epic was that? That got my adrenaline pumping. After an action-packed day, I think we're ready for a little bit more relaxation. Definitely. So we've just arrived at Chalong Pier and we're here to do a sunset catamaran tour. This tour costs 1,490 Thai bar. There are similar tours available where prices start from 1,100 Thai bar, but we picked this tour in particular because the boat looked really, really Good. nice. But in saying that, we got a phone call this morning saying that the boat was broken and they have to put us on a different boat. So we don't exactly know what type of boat we're going to get, but I guess it's part of the adventure and we're about to find out. So just arrived and the boat actually looks really amazing, pretty stoked. The quality of the boat is absolutely incredible. There are bean bags, really comfy chairs, wooden deck, it's just such amazing quality for the price we pay. This boat is just awesome. Oh my 
my goodness, the funniest thing about Thailand are their piers. They are sort of like an aqua adventure. <laughs> So our boat has just stopped at Banana Beach Club on Kohei and this place looks pretty funky so we're going to go explore a little bit more. So when we left Kohei, we were put with another tour group on a completely different boat. We were a bit disappointed because the new boat was a bit of a downgrade. The end of the tour was a little bit odd just because we switched boats. So we just got back to our hotel and we are going to freshen up before we find some delicious cheap eats. We have just arrived at Same Same Markets in Patong to find some delicious cheap eats for dinner. Yep. So I got six dumplings for 50 Thai bar. Very hot. <laughs> So I got a chicken burrito for a hundred and seventy five Thai baht and I got a banana and berry smoothie for 70 bar. Oh my gosh, that was delicious. But you know what? I think the perfect way to end the night is with some ice cream. One scoop of fancy Italian gelato is 99 Thai bar. Mm, this is so delicious. So we've still got some money left, so we're coming here to Yanui Beach because it's only 100 Thai bar to hire a kayak for an hour. So I'm going to give it a go and see what it's like. Wow, this is just amazing. The water here at Yanui Beach is so crystal clear. It's definitely one of our favourite ones here on the island. A bit of a rough landing coming in, but only a hundred Thai baht for an hour's kayak, such a good deal. You can't go wrong with a massage here in Thailand, the country is absolutely stacked with massage parlours. We found an amazingly cheap one here in Rawai, which is only 150 Thai baht for a one hour massage. One hour later. Oh that was amazing, my body is in absolute heaven, such a good deal for 150 Thai baht as well. So did we spend all the money or did we go over budget? Well here's the final tally, in total we spent 3,384 Thai baht, so we came in under budget and we still have 66 Thai baht left. As you can see Thailand is an incredibly affordable place, it can be as cheap or as expensive as you want it to be. We have had an extremely action-packed 24 hours and to think we did all that for only a hundred dollars, we think that's really good value for money. Do you think that was good value for money? Let us know in the comments how you would spend a hundred dollars in Thailand. Don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell and say hi to us in the next video.